Hey, what's up guys? This video is going to help you make up your mind whether you want to buy the new Chromecast or the Apple TV. I have the Apple TV third generation here and also Google's new Chromecast. Um, this is basically the size difference. You can see the Apple TV is more kind of like something you would sit on a TV stand uh, where the Chrome, the Chromecast would plug just directly into your HDMI uh, input on your TV. So, uh, one other thing I'd like to add, if you do plan to buy the Apple TV, it does not come with an HDMI cord, so you'll need to purchase that uh, additionally. So, I'll start off with price. The Apple TV is $99.99. You can find them for cheaper sometimes, um, but that's the standard price. For the Google uh, Chromecast, it is $35. So, quite a bit of a difference here, but I'll just kind of break down. Uh, both have their benefits. Um, but also both have their downs. I'm going to start with the Apple TV. The Apple TV is basically if you have a MacBook Pro or iMac that is uh, mid-2011 above, you can stream whatever is on your computer screen to the Apple TV. Okay. Now, if you have an iPhone 4 and up, so iPhone 4S, iPhone 5, um, or the iPhone 5S, they have the built-in AirPlay function. So that means you can AirPlay everything that is on your phone from pictures to games to movies to apps um, to Safari surfing. You don't have to be on Chrome. Um, everything that's on your phone, you can mirror it to the Apple TV. And that goes the same way for the iPod generations, basically everything Apple that's been out uh, for the last two years. So it goes for iPads and things like that too. So um, with the Apple TV, you can mirror everything uh, also on your computer, on your Mac screen, um, whether it's uh, an app or um, pictures or iPhoto, or if you're editing and you'd like to watch it on a big screen, this this would do all that. However, the Apple TV does not work with Android devices and or tablets and or PC or um, any Windows laptop. So it's only exclusive to Apple products. Okay, so that's, that's the difference, $99. <clears throat> now we have Google's new Chromecast. Google's Chromecast, the difference between this and Apple TV is that this will work on any device. Well, most devices. Um, any you know newer computers, uh, any Android-based phones, um, tablets. Okay, so anything with Netflix, uh, YouTube, Google Chrome, or Google Play, you can stream to this. So if you have a Windows laptop with Windows 7 or XP, anything that is running the Google Chrome browser, as soon as you open up that browser, you're able to stream everything that's on that browser, Google Chrome, from this. Okay, the Chrome does come ready to plug and play right out of the box. Um, obviously, this is the HDMI, so it plugs right in. And it does have an external power source that is powered by a wall outlet. So this allows you to stream everything even if it is Mac. So it's not just exclusive to um, PC or Android. This is more of a web browser. So anything that you do on Chrome or Netflix um, or Android where you do go Google Play and pictures and music, you can do that from here. Okay, first I'll start with the Apple TV. So you see when I turn the Apple TV on, it's more of a dis it's got its own uh, iOS work in here. It's got um, this remote. I forgot to include this does come with the remote. The Chromecast does not. The remote for the Chromecast is only your phone, tablet, or computer. Where this does have its own standalone Bluetooth remote. Uh, very simple, only a few buttons, but I'm not going to focus too much on that. I'll just kind of show you what this looks like. Um, it's got a place for your computers, and this is all Apple um, related. Everything from Netflix, YouTube built right in. And so it's got its own little um, interface with its uh, iMovie apps. And then, of course, uh, it's got the iTunes where you can buy movies. So 
to, I'm going to go ahead and just jump on this and play this video here. I'm going to connect with uh, my computer to the Apple TV. Now here's where I'm saying you can mirror everything. So say, and this is a MacBook Pro, so say if I wanted to um, look in the launch pad or fire up uh, an application like ScreenFlow. Uh, you just got to give it a second here. It's running a little slow. But you, you get in the point where I can... Oh, I'm sorry. So now I can open up applications or pictures, documents, things like that, uh, right from the Apple TV. Now, here I'm going to open Google Chrome, and I'm just going to go ahead and I'll play one short video here so you can just experience compared to the other one. Let's see. This video is 19 seconds long. I'm going to go ahead and make that full screen. And it doesn't have, this video does not have sound, and I can change to 1080p. Now it's in 1080p. This is just a video, so it's streaming here. And that would be that. So I'll remember to play that video, and I am going to play one more just for sound. I'm going to play 15 seconds of this video. In 1080. It's in 1080, but it doesn't look like it's 1080 there on the screen. Although it is only recorded, I think, in 720. So there we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and disconnect from the AirPlay, disconnect from the Apple TV. I'm going to go ahead and switch it over now to the Google Chromecast. Okay, now I'm ready to cast from my computer. Now this is where I told you the difference. It doesn't matter whether this is a Mac or PC. Both can connect, but the only way they can connect and mirror what is on your screen is if uh, you open the Google Chrome browser. And once you open that up, I'll just click Mirror to the Chromecast, and that will basically go over to the TV. So once again, I'll go and I'll play a video. Play this one first. And I am going to make sure it's in 1080p. I don't know what all this is. And now we're playing there on the uh, TV. Now you'll notice on the computer it doesn't play along, so you'll just have to focus your attention then on the TV. Alright, and that's that, and I play one more. Go. You hear the sound is coming through the TV. So that's basically that, and like I said, it will do, um, the Google Chromecast will do anything that you have the Chrome browser open, 
and or Netflix, Google Play, um, and YouTube. So with that being said, if you have Apple products, I would specifically go for Apple TV just because it's more convenient. However, for 35 bucks, you really can't beat it. Go out and pick out a Chromecast too because then your friends come over and they might have a uh, PC or Droid tablet and they'd like to share some stuff too. So that's that and thanks for watching.